Coming to us from TFW 2005 via Badu user. Uh, hopefully I didn't mispronounce that too badly. Uh, we have in-hand images of the new Yola Park 20 centimeter tall Optimus Prime. Now, this looks good, don't get me wrong, but my question, if you guys are looking at it carefully, is it's got weathered effect on him, like there's scrapes on him there, right? So, drop a comment below, because we're gonna be asked this question, and I can't confirm it. See the bottom of his feet there, if you pause the video, looks like it's chipped. Is that intentionally done, or did the paint come off? That is my question. I, I like, I don't know, like, is, is that weathering effect supposed to be there, or is that manufacturing defect? That's my main concern right now that I'm seeing right now with this G1 Optimus Prime. Everything else looks great, but again, that is really distracting to me. Like, that looks like it's like, you know, it chipped off, or I don't know, again, if it's intentional or not. If it's intentional, great. Let us know. But I think Yolo Park's got to advertise that, that it's got weathering effects on it. Uh, because a lot of people are going to get this and be like, what, what is this, right? Now, if that's not supposed to be there, well, um, you know, Megatron's got it too there on his, on his legs as well too. So I'm going to assume that that's intentionally done, that he's been in battle. Of course, he's scraped up. He's not supposed to be perfect. So I'm going to lean more towards there. If you guys... You know, like I said, drop a comment below if you agree or, or disagree. To be like, you know what, that could be a manufacturing defect. If it's not, great. It's supposed to be like that. There it is. Okay, so if you have pre-ordered it, this is what you're expected to get. All right? If you have any concerns, you can definitely reach out to Yolo Park, I guess, right? So check it out, guys. Link in the description of the video to TFW 2005. Take care.